So we've packed up from the camp and we we're ready to tackle the bridle track. Just wanted to stop in and show you what Helen's Town Centre looks like. You get your, your pub and you've got your general store, uh, food, coffee and sort of ornaments. Down there is the museum off from Ryan's video and from ours and then it just goes down to the campsites. So what are we doing today? We are going so that's the town centre. We've been all over the place. That way, vision. All over the place. And now we are going to the start of the bridle track. I've never done it. Ryan did it when he was a kid. So we thought we want to do it anyway. So let's get onto it. But now look at this. It's all foggy. So one thing they do tell you to do is put your lights on just in case. The road is actually really good. Um, it's graded and there's no corrugations, there's no washouts, there's ero erosion hubs like the one I'm coming up to right now. Uh, but yeah, just take your time, talk to everybody that you see, make sure that they know what they're doing and where they're going because there's there's no barriers and there's really big steep uh, drop-offs. <laughs> so with this video footage, we have tried to get a little bit out of the cars, um, out of the car and set up the tripods, but unfortunately with the way I am at the moment, I can't be sitting there running up and down. Um, I can't even pretty much walk the distance to to put the um, camera up on a tree or something. So it's either in body in the car or outside the car. Ryan has a GoPro, I have a GoPro and then I have the other cameras as well. So hopefully this is a good video. Here's the two run. There you go. Amazing, I love that river. Looks like a bit bit rough in the middle. Oh, okay. Take it easy. Yeah, I'm in low range, so. Yeah, I'll go in low range. Nice. Now it's my turn. So was, the, the river's flowing a little bit, but that was simple for him. We just engaged low range just to be safe. All right. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would. It looked like it was going to be really lumpy in the middle then. All right, we'll go back and film Dave. I want a window down so I don't accidentally lock my keys in your car. <laughs> I'll get down there and then fill the day.
So coming, wait a minute, I'll turn the wind up. So coming from the hillland side, there's a lot of grading, super wide. You've got probably put caravans down there, even though you're not allowed to have a caravan here. But coming from hillland side, going down the cliffs, it's nice and wide, things like that. Now you've got this one here. I can't remember the name of it, something bluff. Um, so it's a single lane. Pity anybody coming the opposite way because there's no real turning. You can kind of move over a little bit, but yeah, they warn you to take extreme cautions and things like that. Lights on, beep your horn. So yeah, um, it's not bad. Like it's, it, it, we haven't had to air down. We haven't had to engage four wheel drive unless we were actually going across the river, which we have. Um, but other than that, it's just a nice drive. In the wet though, it'd be very slippery. So yeah, here's the uh, bypass. They put guardrails up for people's safety, that's for sure, that's pretty cool. It kind of takes away from the um, experience, but you got to think of your safety and think of your family if they're in the car, so yeah, it's awesome. done a lot of work and it's not like single lane There's, you could actually probably get three cars here very steep switchbacks be very careful Moo cows. Just saying that way. Hello, moo cow. Hello. Hey. Oh, we've got to put him first. Bye. Got to say hello to the local. Hello, and coffee and maybe food. Yeah, anything. So, I'm still on the bridle track, but look at the, the change in scenery. This place has everything. So, with all the excitement of doing the bridle track, I forgot to do an outro. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was different. The track is amazing. First time and not the last time I'll be going on that track. It was, yeah, wow, we're going to be camping on that river, the Turon River, up there on the bridal track, sometime soon. It, yeah, you've got to get yourself up there. So if you like this video, hit the like button, comment on it, let us know if you liked it or not. If not, let us know how we can prove it. If you want to, subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss one of our videos going up live. So, from all of us at Destination Off Road, well, me and Ryan, everything like that. Thank you for watching it, and hopefully you enjoy the next one. Bye.